Hey guys, it's Gadget, and happy October 1st, and you can see the ears are on me, as well as my little friend here. <laughs> Beware! No one goes there! <laughs> Isn't he cute? Yes, that's right, it's start of Halloween. Oop, and he wants to come and talk again. He's falling off everything because I'm trying to get him to stay in a nice spot, but... It's the 31 days of Halloween and my birthday. So guys, I'm going to try to vlog. And if you see me looking at something, I have um, these little natty flies flying around. And I, it's a running gag because I think the same thing too um, was done on one of the other YouTubers page and everything. Guys, I'm not copying you or anything. It's just that we had a situation with our super in the building and he cleaned out the drains and everything and cleaned out the back of the building and basically this is all like just basically like i don't know if you can see it when it goes by but um i also do have a fly in here and everything else but here no there so what are we going to talk about today well i went through my uh youtubes because i sat here and wanted to contemplate something as you all well know halloween's coming up and that's when the veil dins if you're basically a wiccan or any other pagan type today was wiccan uh or pagan pride and everything and I didn't get to go because I had a lot of things to do because I want to get everything ready and done and clean since I do have a lot of free time since everything happened wanted to let people know I'm fine I'm not depressed I'm not anything it's just that you have to let people be sad sometimes and grieve because you have to look at the big picture of things right and my big picture is now celebrating Halloween and my birthday even though I thought I was gonna be celebrating with someone special but they turned out to be a cold-hearted bastard but that's okay see he calls me names too so that's basically here nor there because we know how to hurt each other's feelings but this time was a very bad time okay so with my crow friend here i don't know let's give him a name or something i wanted to talk about how i am because um going through my videos i wanted to give you guys a brief history because a lot of you won't go back through all of them the my life series started in 2012 as a school project at lehman college basically it was a way for us to vlog vent and show how we can be on camera and learn all the ways that there's ways to communicate with people here or there. Some people may have the same message, same storyline, same timeline, same whatever, right? So it started out with a few videos here and there talking about um, my exes and how I'm not lucky in love and hoping to find that one true person that sees me for me, right? As well as talking about how I grew up in a sheltered home with a bipolar man expressive mother, a Vietnam vet father, a bully of a sister. Well, younger sister's two and a half years younger, but she thinks she's the queen of everything of me. Not being able to be with my niece and my nephew because of her standards and my mother's standards, as well as other things in this family, right? So by being raised sheltered, I never got to go out, never got to date, never got to get the social experiences I was supposed to get because I was being hovered over by a mom who never let me out of sight because she thought I was property. You get where I'm getting with this, right? So basically, I was diagnosed with dyslexia. I then that made it even worse where she had to claim that she had to be there for me. I wouldn't be able to handle the world. I lost my identity living with them. My sister was the main identity. And a lot of people don't want to admit to that in my family. They don't want to admit that they're enabling her. All this other stuff. But if you've seen through my My Life series from 2012, you see how it's changed over these last few years. And how I'm going to re revamp and re tell the volumes on here as of now I've now recategorized them and I haven't been had a chance to go through them because I don't want to jeopardize the monetization on here and everything so basically the 2012s if you look back will be the volume one of the my life series the baby stages right 2013 will be volume two 2014 will be volume three 2015 is volume four 2016 is volume five and coming up in January 2017 will be two, volume six of the my life series okay 2013 till now has been a very interesting type of vlogs as you all know because up until 2013 i was talking about all my exes and how they played me for a fool used me baited me and all this other stuff because you see growing up i didn't get to date the first time i ever really date, started to date i was still being chaperoned by my family i was not allowed out not allowed to go to places I had to be driven everywhere because i technically didn't have a license because i couldn't wasn't even allowed to drive because they wanted to make sure they could control every move I made, keep me in a state of being their personal slave scapegoat and everything, you name it. I used to get blamed for every family party stuff. The gist of it, you know when you're Cinderella and you know it? Yeah. This Cinderella was getting tired of it. And when she met somebody, 
didn't realize that that person was very abusive and everything and pushed me down a flight of stairs twice, hit me in my face, uh, threatened me, stalked me to the point where it got worse and made my mother now more paranoid to let me out, made my dad more paranoid to let anybody near me, and he would not let any, he would have to now prove guys coming after me and all this. So, yeah, it got to that point, guys, where I couldn't do anything. So you fast forward. Now think about this. My trust has been broken ever since I was little because I was also bullied growing up by my sister and my family as well as children in school and everything because I was different. I didn't fit the mold. I loved things like the Thunderbirds, Star Trek, Doctor Who. I loved anime. And I also had a gift that people used to fear me with. I could tell when people were pregnant and when they were going to die. I could tell the future. I could tell anything. I knew who was calling on a telephone. Didn't learn till later that I had these gifts because they were sort of passed down. I am a Wiccan who was born of the veil, hence Halloween, why I love it so much. I am a Wiccan or a pagan New Year baby and basically born during the veil. My mother went into labor on October 30th and I wasn't born until November 1st. Yeah, she basically, I was being passed through the veil as everything. So, yeah. So I have a bunch of gifts and everything that growing up, it scared people. It went away for a little bit and then it came back because of things and stuff that had happened. A lot of people don't understand that I can do tarot cards, I read palms, I'm 85 to 95% right on things, I scare people, I can sense when people there. that's part of my empath empathetic ability. I'm an empath, yes. I can tell things and stuff and this is why it also hurts too because a lot of my exes do let me go but this one does not want to let me go. And I don't blame him because it's stuff that he has to work through and everything, but it does hurt that I can still feel him. All right, and I'll get to that later. As well as being diagnosed with dyslexia in sixth grade and being made fun of that to find out years later when I went to college again after my mother flipped out and said you didn't get permission to go at the age of like 30-something. Yeah, she still thinks she has total control over me. The only reason they're helping me right now is because there's no jobs here in New York. The job situation is their own fault because I had job leads, but they made sure to try to control me and everything that I couldn't get the jobs I wanted. So let's see what happens. My life is really starting now. It started when I was kicked out of that house in technically around 10 years ago when I was 29 going on 30. So part of this today is to talk about what happened 10 years ago or what's going on with this because technically it's a, like, you know what I mean? 29, 30, and I had met somebody who played me for a fool, you know what I mean? To come again full circle with someone who played me for a fool. How does that happen? How does that, right? So when you look through the My Life series from 2012 on, you'll see what happened and things and everything. So this is what happened. Uh, basically, when I started the My Life series, I was coming off of bad breakups and everything. I was coming off of people who just wanted me for friends with benefits and nothing more. No one wanted a relationship. No one wanted anything. So how does that make me feel? Makes me feel like I'm nothing. I'm not worth anything. So how can I trust somebody or how do I know what love is, right? Because people keep asking me a question. Are you in love? How do you know what love is? If you haven't been shown love or taught what love is, you're not going to know. Like the first time I was really starting to date, not the first time when I got pushed down the flight of stairs. Trust me, it took me, think about it, from age 18 to age 30, not dating because you're so afraid someone's going to hurt you or hit you or something took me a long time to start to trust that again. And then after that, it was just downhill from there where people were breaking my trust in my heart. So why am I doing this today? Well, today starts the 31 days, like I said, till Halloween and my birthday. And I'm going to state to people what's going on because a lot of people misconstrued or misconstrued because there's a dyslexia kicking in a lot of things about me. They like to prejudge me. They like to see what they want to see. They like to manipulate people into hating me. And they like to manipulate other people as well as things. So how do I stop it? Well, as a Wiccan, we cause no harm. We can't cause harm to people. We can make you aware of your situation and teach you about humility on how it's not nice to, to prejudge people and treat people with disrespect and everything when you know them for so many years. Or the fact that you, I have frenemies and I have friends. Now, where am I going with this? Well... I was just recently this today given that I went on Facebook live because I was called by somebody. I thought it was someone finally waking up, making amends that they might come for my birthday. Finally, I get to celebrate a birthday with someone I love and care about, even though they're a rat bastard right now because do no harm. 
right? No, it was a female voice claiming that I caused an accident, that I'm to leave people alone and that they will manipulate this person to the point where they will make sure he hates me forever and blames me for everything that happens in his life. And I'm like, who is this? You know who this is. And if you talk about this other person and this person again, we will make sure that you will never speak of them again. Okay? I gave the gist of it to one of my friends and I told her what happened. She says, sweetie, are you sure that's what they said? I said, yes, it is. So she says, hold on. She started talking with people and everything. It come to find that it's about these people that somehow know me from conventions and everything. Now, you see, when I go to conventions, I'm taking pictures for certain podcasts and things and other stuff. And I meet a lot of people there. I give out my business card and everything. I've gone to New York Comic Con for the, since, God, 2010? Is it 10? Yeah, since 2010. I've got to make sure i got to check my dates. I think i got to get the thing. 2010. But I've gone to New York Comic Con for a while now, right? And basically, yeah, since I started um, college. That's right, 2010. So I've been going to New York Comic Con for a while. I meet a lot of people. Some of them are really cool and everything. And some of them know about what I'm going to talk about. Okay? Okay. So let's see how to put this. Because I have to be careful how I say this. Because So it doesn't get misinterpreted by frenemies of this person. Or people who don't even know me. Because they want to make up lies about me. Alright? So here we go. Okay. As you all well know with the My Life series. It started in 2012, okay? Around that time, I was having bad breakups, dealing with family, dealing with everybody, didn't know where I was going, right? I had so many exes, but so many exes put me on the right path to things. So no matter what they did wrong, they still had some good in them, except for a few that ghosts or really, really screwed up, okay? Now, most of my My Life series wraps around or revolves around the things how my mother is getting dementia, things of abuse, how my family bullies me and stuff, and also one person in particular. Now, his picture is actually on my shelf up here. And everyone's like, do it, do it like everybody else, like everyone else's picture. Put in a box and say goodbye. I have a few of my ex's pictures that are hiding on bookcases and everything because the ones that did me good, even though they were they did bad, those pictures stay around. Because one of them actually gave me the kick to go to school. He looked up my union thing and found I could go to school. So I can't fault him for that one. See what I mean? Then I had one where they did a lot of bad, but something bad came out of it. And it caused me that I could have made a choice with the person we're going to be talking about, you know, because I want to get the story straight on that. Because like I said, in another video, I told you how we met, how we everything. But I want to talk more about recent stuff because there is also a book being written. The book is finished. The book just needs to have added pieces to it. I need a proofreader and everything. And a few people are reading it. It has gone from 100 pages to almost 200 pages talking about what happened on the trip in the UK. Okay? I don't know how it's going to be received by people because you know what? This is the facts. I wrote everything down. And why we're going to talk about what I'm going to talk about because it does tie into how I thought this year, Halloween, I thought that everything was going to work out. And I will be trying to vlog or blog every day because it is 31 days and give you some pointers and everything. And my little crow friend here, you know, let's see what he says now. So do you dare come closer? Hmm. You want to hear the story? You want to hear the tale? Well, let's see. As you all well know, in the My Life series, I started talking about him in 2013. And throughout that time, I've caught him in lies, deceits, and everything. He has left me, begged me to come back. You all know who he is. I can, If I want to, I probably can use his nickname and everything. But you know what? I'd rather leave it at that, since you all know the years and everything. Here's the thing. Out of all of my ex's ex-best friends, friends, and everything like that, he did one thing different that they all could not do. Every time he came back, he was able to fix part of it. Not all of it, but part of it. And grow into the parts he couldn't fix. Then the dilemmas would strike. Jealous friends of his, enemies of mine, who felt that since they never talked with me on a phone, never Skyped with me, never even got to know me, and I don't know if that was by his hand or their hand, 
by him like controlling the situation, started to spread rumors and lies about me and bully me to the point where I was like, we're in a relationship as friends and now boyfriend and girlfriend, and you guys still can't see the fact that let us be, let us try to work this out. Yes, there were like over 100 people that were so happy that we finally got it right and everything. And I like those people because they were the 100 people that called besides the other 100 people. Yeah. That wanted to know what happened after. And I said, you're going to look at it in the book. Because everyone thinks I should just let us all go. But no, because I didn't stop fighting for him. I stopped believing in him because I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take being bullied. I couldn't take being lied to. Him hiding stuff on his page from me. Does he not realize we had mutual friends who were showing me stuff? That's where I'm like, how, you can't be dumb and smart at the same time. Okay? I'm also a psychic, clairvoyant, tarot card reader and everything. All right. I saw when he got a new phone before he got his phone. I saw his parents' kitchen before they got the kitchen. There are so many things I saw that I freaked out his mother. All right. Don't mess with a psychic when she knows what's going on. And don't have your fake friends try to bully me and slander your name. And when I try to help the situation and try to report it, you make it worse by telling everybody I'm a bitch I am a waste and I'm no good and then you accuse me of causing someone's accident for three years going on four it would have been if you had stayed in my life you should have known me better by now that is sad because he doesn't want to lose the people that he's with but those are the people who can't see the bigger picture who want to keep him in a fugue state, who want to keep him a child. They don't let him grow up. My parents tried to do that to me. My sister tried to do that to me. My, my friends who I had to get rid of tried to do that to me. They were trying to make me the scapegoat, the patsy, manipulate me. No, I had to put my foot down. And here's the thing, I will say this. I didn't know anything until I met the one in 2000 when I turned 30 I had to be taught certain things if you guys are getting my drift I was scared beyond belief because when you get abused and hurt out of a relationship because you wouldn't do something at 18 you know what I should just say it because you know what I'll put it as mature on here I didn't want to give up my virginity at 18 to someone and that's why they pushed me down a flight of stairs that's why they hit me and everything and stuff Okay, it took the person when I turned 30 and you know how he tricked me and it was a trick because otherwise I probably would have still been. He proposed to me because I knew him for five years because somebody else I had been talking to that I thought wasn't going to play me either. So you see what I mean? Guys like to trick, prank and play me. But the joke is on them half the time because then when I move on with someone I think is better, which is no better, but it's still better, they either walk away or they try to get back in my good graces. Okay? The one from 2013 has left me four times begging his ass back because the only reason I take him back was one, his grandfather had passed away and I will not do that to somebody after he left me, but I can understand, stressful time. He didn't want to tell me his grandfather was sick, but stressful time. He even forgets that he disappeared at around times when he says he told me things, and I that wasn't me. That was the other girls he hung out with that have a similar look to me, okay? Then the other times were when he just went completely nuts, cursing me out and everything, to the point where, like, in 2014, it's a big thing on, on here in one of my My Life series, Right before my graduation, he tells me to fuck off. And I did nothing wrong to him. I've never done anything wrong to him. Newsflash, guys. I would have been the one that would have taken care of him 
and possibly have moved out there or have him here to help me get ready to see if it was worth it to move out there. You guys jumped the gun. You guys made him lose out on the best thing he could have had. Someone that understands what it's like to be abused and lonely. And not lonely like alone, like, oh, my poor depression, my poor whatever. No, 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 no. No. You, you made him lose out on someone who sees the brighter side of things. Who may have had a screwed up life growing up, but knows the difference between jealousy, hate, and envy. And that's all you guys ever did. Was je be jealous of me, envious of me, and hate me because I could get through to him when you couldn't. Because I didn't treat him like a little child the way you all treat him like. I pushed him. Because before he lost his job, he wanted to wrap me up, put me in a box, and have them shipped to him. He wanted me in his life. He was upset when I couldn't get there because I had to do school. Trust me, if I had the money and didn't have to worry about school, I would have been done in two years and I would have been out there with him. But because people have taken things from me my whole life, I did not want school taken from me. I did not want something taken from me because it's my life. But it is sad when other people try to manipulate and try to control it. The way like my family tried to control my graduation, tried to go, they got their, their hooks in, yes, but I had the last say on some of it. They knew where I stood. My dad helps me with my rent, yes, because there is no money. I haven't gotten a raise at my job. It's only 18 hours. And the rent goes up, but the pay doesn't go up. And the job I have, I have to try to find something at night. And I have fibromyalgia, costodendritis, and a cancer lump in my knee called an antrodroma lump. Okay? I am lucky to be here. But I still work, still do things. I don't sit on my ass. Okay? Like some people. I don't consider my friend property. I don't consider things like violence, gun violence and everything, to put on my Facebook page. And everyone's saying, oh, that person's nice, but yet they're condoning violence. His friends are very messed up. And you want to laugh how I find out things? His friends that he claims are his friends, the good ones, finally got to see my YouTubes and said, oh my God, he would have been perfect for you. You guys would have been perfect together. Why did he do what he did? Because fear, jealousy, hate, and envy. By him, by everyone. Because when the bullying didn't stop and the slandering of his name didn't stop, I contacted the UK police and my police. All this is an attempt to bully and to harass me, as well as slandering his name based on what his friends did. But to accuse me of causing an accident, I hate, don't, okay, don't get me wrong about hate. I don't hate people. I hate what he said and did because that means he did not know me and that hurts. I know more about him than anything anyone could say. I know there's no trigeminal neuralgia. I know there's no neck injury. It's the tramadol he is on that is causing all those side effects. And when I was out there, guys, he didn't take any of the tramadol. He only took it when he got into a fight with me. Because you know what? Emotional pain causes physical pain. All right? Because it's funny. I even decreased my medicine when I was out there. I didn't take it as much because I wasn't in pain. Okay? I'm in pain now because I fell. Yes. But I would like to be off painkillers and everything. And my painkillers are all natural, which are actually healthy for me. Not like tramadol, not like any of the other ones that can cause seizures, neck pains, injuries, sexual side effects. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, that was the other thing. No one wants to admit that that was causing other things and why everything. Also, when you're stressed out, a family member is injured and in the hospital. That's all you're going to think about. And plus, in three weeks, you can't fall in love with someone. By the end of the three weeks is when you start to feel something. And my last night there, he never came out of the room. I was going to stay. I was looking for work. But his actions dictated how and why I had to walk away because we had to find out who was bullying me. He would have still been on my Facebook page. 
watching me live and everything, but I would not talk to him because he's going I saw that when I saw what I saw and saw what these people said about me and condoning them bullying me and agreeing that I should be bullied. What world do we live in that adults feel that it's okay to belittle somebody? And I'm not belittling anybody. I'm stating facts. And what he said about me, I hate what he did, not him. My door is open for him to fix this and prove me wrong. You guys can send this video to him and everything. But for me to be accused of somebody's accident, that draws the line. And you want to laugh? People called me to tell me that because they said they believed that I did it based on what he said. And this is where I'm going to mention, I should mention his name, but I'm going to mention his nickname. They said that Grayborn told them that I was the one that caused this girl's accident. I was shocked. I said, who is this? I have cut ties with all of the bullies and I had to now disable the comments on my YouTube that you guys can only send me stuff in a P.O. box, which I will have in the bottom because I am not going to run this through the editing machine. Get your story straight. Get your facts straight. He's the one, based on what you guys did, prejudged me and disappeared three days before the trip. He was all excited, finally, for me to come out, even when his friend, let's see, how do I put it? His friend who dresses up like the doctor and looks like Rip Hunter or looks like Arthur Duvall, okay, did a little situation of his own and people threatened to kill me. You should have seen his face when I said I wasn't coming. But you all manipulated him and I didn't hear from him until I got out there and he didn't know what to do with me because you guys already put the poison in his mind that his friends, travel, and writings come first. Then what am I? What was I? Those three years, what was I? I clearly wasn't his friend. I clearly wasn't his girlfriend because there is a girl that keeps putting pictures of him and gets upset when I put pictures of him when I was the girlfriend. So you see what I mean? All you jealous, hateful, and envious people are now going to listen to me because when I finally called the UK again to tell them you guys hadn't stopped, they said it would cost too much money. So guess what? I spoke with a lawyer. The lawyer is working on the case right now. I may not put it through because I don't want to hurt anybody because that's the type of person I am. But I am finding a lot of stuff out. Stuff like he cannot distinguish reality from fantasy based on the writings they saw and all the documents I had sent them and the UK police had sent them as well as my police department has sent. Also the fact that his friends are condoning bullying. They read half of that. They read all of it. They read everything and it was like, what is wrong with him that he cannot see what they're doing? And I had to be asked a ton of questions. First question was, have you met any of these people? I told them the people I have met and how I met them. They go, okay. So the ones that are bullying you never met you. I said, nope. Have they ever called you on a phone? Nope. Have they ever Skyped with you? Nope. How do you know them? I've typed with one of them, maybe two, and left it at that. Okay. But you don't know them? Nope. Why would they say these things? Don't know. Then they looked at his page. They looked at the pages. They found all the old things because Facebook doesn't delete anything. If you delete it, it's still there. I wanted to let you guys know that. If you delete it, it's still there. And when I saw what he said about me and the lies he told, I started crying. But at the same time, why did you do that? Why are you lying and everything? I even saw where one girl who claimed she was so upset and wanted to talk with me, two-faced me, and telling him that's okay, blah, 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 when I pointed out the fact that he was lying and everything and stuff, she babied him. She knows who she is. And if she's watching this or anybody your friends are watching it, I know you're a two-faced bitch. That I will say, and I will stand up to you. Because I knew about your divorce from him. And I also don't like the fact that you post pictures of him when, I was when, I, when we were boyfriend and girlfriend and got mad at me and didn't accept my friend request until he made me the girlfriend. 
guys, I observe and I watch. I know what you guys are up to. But this is where I drew the line. When you guys accuse me of causing someone injury, all right, I told my friend this. And she's like, wait a minute. Hold on. Okay? This is where it comes in, like I said about New York Comic Con and all the other stuff where I meet a lot of people. So it seems that a mutual friend of my friend, which is not even my friend, I don't know these people per se, because thanks to his friends being the bullies, I do not accept any friend requests unless I know you fully. If I don't see any connections to you, I do not take you on my page because I don't trust if it's them bullying me or going under a fake profile because they've done that to me before too. Oh yeah, his friends have done that to me. As well as the friends I blocked because they condoned and they were fake ass and two-faced to me. And you all know who you are. Then you had the friends that ran off my page because they didn't want to hear me badmouth him even though he was lying and everything. Then you have the friends that know he's a good person. Yeah, I agree with you. He is a good person. But he cannot distinguish reality from fantasy nor see the enemies that lie within his friends list. That's where I'm upset. That someone who knows me for three years cannot get past the point that his friends who he knows for his lifetime have been manipulating his ass, have been lying to his ass and two-facing him. At the same time, he's been manipulating them. So it's a, it's, a, it's a game that he plays. But why do I keep talking about him? Why do I want him here? Here's a little dilemma. He's not letting me go. I can still feel his heart. And I have proof of that because I did it. I showed his mother. Okay. I still feel him. I know when he's upset. I know when he's sad. And I know that. Okay. It has been told by me that he is my soulmate. He is my past life. He is whatever. This is his time to learn a lesson in humility. Because one, it's time for him to grow up and see who his real friends are. Two, it's time for him to get a job and not be, how do I put it? Off mommy and daddy. Okay. Three, it's time for him to see what he threw away, and how he treats others because of that. Four, you can still be a kid and go to your conventions that, but you got adult responsibilities. You're 33 years old. I'm going to be 40 in a few weeks. I hang out with 14-year-olds, too, at the conventions and everything like that, but I know what they think and do is not the same what a 30-year-old or a 40-year-old thinks and, do, and does. And, and all the other stuff, I also know he hasn't done anything yet. And that's where fear sets in and why he freaked out with everything while we were out there. But I will also tell you this, when his father went into the hospital, I never saw someone turn as white as a sheet or anything and stay in his room and left me alone for three hours. Yeah. The trip was done the minute he, he just left me alone. It'll be in the book, guys. Don't worry. It'll be in the book. What I'm trying to say is this. October 1st, 2016 is the start of my 31 days of happiness because I would have loved to have shared it with him. But like all my exes and everything, it seems that they like to leave around this time so they get out of Halloween presents, birthday presents, Christmas presents, Valentine's Day presents. Because like clockwork, I'll probably see him chiming up my page around March or April. The same way he did it to me the last four times. But here's the problem now. <laughs> this time I blocked him and everything. I got rid of him. And I didn't want to have to do that, but that was under the law and everything because we had to find out who was bullying me. And when the lawyer showed me and the police departments that it was him because of how he said things and how people took it, that hurt. And that was a hateful act by him. And all because I kept trying to see someone who was slandering his name using one of his friend's names, who I don't trust this person either, because if you're married with a child, are you going to consider them property the way you consider him property? That's wrong. Why didn't you want to just talk with me instead of saying that, oh, you, you live in the real world and I live in the fantasy world? No, 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 guys. You guys live in the fantasy world. I live in the real world. And trust me, my world is a lot realer than yours. I don't sit back and lay back. Have any of you been abused? Have any of you been hurt by people? Have any of you have to be on your own and do things? Stop babying his ass. He's an adult. If he, I have a disability and I wasn't babied, 
I was raised by people with disabilities and they weren't babied. Okay? We have to stop it now. Stop bullying. Stop whatever. Because I am not being blamed for your selfish acts. I am not being blamed for people I don't even know, per se. Because I have to now go through my whole list to see who the hell these people are. Because I don't have them on my friends list. I have to go through my Comic-Con contact list. Where I had written people's names down, look for business cards and everything. They claim they know me since I've been going to Comic-Con. I know a lot of people. But if you make it on my friends list on Facebook, that means I trust you. But if you want to walk away from me, fine and great. But get your story straight and get the facts. Like I said, he didn't tell me that he was done with me until halfway through the trip. That his friends and travels and writings come first, that I was nothing. And his mother made me stay, otherwise I would have been on the plane home and living my life and finally cutting ties. He wanted to try and everything. Every time he tried, he would pull away from me because you guys kept changing his mind. Let him think for himself. Let him feel what he feels. All right? Let me grieve. Let me be sad. And let me have my 31 days of Halloween. Because right now, I'm doing this for the kids. Like I said, my P.O. box will be down there. But I am going to be trying to vlog each day because if I'm going to, I'm going to be out trying to find... Halloween stuff like I'm gonna if I go into my bedroom once I get this rest of the place clean and get the rest of the Halloween stuff I'm gonna be vlogging and I'll be like look guys look what I found look you already see the ears guys this is the thing I love him I care about him he was only different because he managed to fix what he could and everything and try to grow into what he couldn't and you took that away from me as well as him okay because of your jealousy, envy, and hate. Now I get to celebrate a birthday by myself again. And I would have liked to have celebrated with someone like that I call my best friend and my boyfriend, and then back to my best friend, but down now to nothing. Because I had to give him up to save my sanity only to find that he was the culprit. Because you guys manipulated the situation and wouldn't let him fall in love. Wouldn't let him figure out what he wants to do with his life. I don't care about what he wants. But you don't hide yourself. You know what I mean? He never got on Skype with me to break up. He always stayed only as a voice. He never showed me the picture. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm doing now. I'm going to tell you this. I busted us back to single because he said he did not want to work at it. That it's all or nothing. He couldn't tell me to, to keep it. I went off of his cues. Even when we were out there, the fear would not let him even kiss me the right way. And when he did let his guard down, those kisses put me and knocked me right off my feet. And I wasn't kissed like that in a long time. I have never been kissed like Do you understand? Ten, ten years ago, I was my first kiss was kissed like that. And then to be kissed like that again, I was like, why couldn't he kiss me like this before? But he shut down because you guys made him shut down. And I had to sit on a trip alone, have him ditching me in Cardiff for two 18 year olds. If I knew my way around Cardiff, I would have had my bags packed and I would have left, left him his train ticket and I would have headed back to his house. I would have found my way, trust me, I would have found my way. I would have walked the highways. I would have called his mom to pick me up in Lancaster. Trust me. I would have walked away. But every chance, he knew, because he has the same gifts I do and he won't admit it. He's an empath like me, and he won't admit it. Because every time I tried to escape, trust me guys, Every time when we were walking on that trip, I tried to, to get away and duck. He knew the minute I would. But then again, he would pro probably would never even known I was gone either. When he got on his tangents. My trip got ruined because of all your selfish acts, including his. Because he has to always make others happy. I learned the hard way. You can't do that. Because it costs you someone that actually cares about you. 
and these guys are real tears because I try to be strong and enough is enough you know what I mean I'm tired of his friends calling me crazy I'm tired of his friends blaming me for things all because he can't own up to the fact that either he likes me loves me or cares about me he can't own up to the fact that there was something there because he's afraid he's afraid of change he's afraid to move on I'm not afraid of change and moving on what I am upset about is the fact that you guys want to manipulate this and everyone wants to forget about it no those who forget history are doomed to repeat it and guess what my history is I keep finding these guys and I keep saying I'll let it go let it go no this is getting fixed now do you hear me all of you this is getting fixed until he decides what he wants I am moving forward but this will be fixed this will not be weighted and everything okay he has 31 days to my birthday and I'm putting this ultimatum out to you guys there are 31 days the whole month of October to think about what he's done and all of you think about what you've done I have a PO box the PO box will have the address in the bottom you guys are going to make amends you're also going to make amends by helping me out with Halloween for the kids that's right I do a thing for the kids every year in this neighborhood because kids in this neighborhood it's a city it may look like with all the trees or anything but it's a city and a lot of kids don't get out to get trick-or-treating because it's not safe my building is safe so I make it nice for the kids we get kids in the block we get a daycare center we got everything that comes and visits a school okay so this year you guys are gonna help me out you're gonna donate stuff and I don't mean it that way in a mad way I mean if you can and you want to send kids like a stop bullying sticker or if you want me to mention your, your YouTube channels I will I'm telling you guys right now if you have old decorations you can't use you want to get rid of them you got candy that you want to give to the kids anything but you can start with that start amending things start making things nice for kids because you know what that's a birthday present to me but the rest of you who are watching this and know him and know what's going on I want you to look at everything again because if you're gonna condone bullying or slandering his name and harassing me what kind of friends are you think about it you guys are like 20 something years old 30 something years old if you're so stressed out and depressed now I hate to see what you guys look like when you're my age and the funny thing is do I even look like I'm gonna be 40 no because I don't do harm the way you guys do I looked at some of your pictures you guys look older than anything and you guys are younger than me so guys this is day one of the 31 days of Halloween my life series in the volume 5 section and let's see what my crow friend has to say because <laughs> don't be afraid people say I'm crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's crazy I'm crazy but you know what I'm crazy like a fox because I know what the hell's going on so guys bye from my crow friend because he's going to be helping me with um, Halloween and I'll keep you guys updated on how I, everything is but I'm telling you right now make amends now doors open Wiccan I can't cause any harm it's your own guilt that's gonna eat you away so guys we'll deal with this more we're gonna work on things and I'm going to be moving on while he sits there in a fugue state of just sitting there playing video games and getting upset with them a lot of things go viral when you look stupid you know hence the years but see that's the difference between me and him I could care less I can get a frozen heart in 10 seconds problem is is that I could still feel him and boy is he pissed all right so bye guys